It's no secret that the Billings South Park pool is in dire need of improvements, but a solution could be in the works. Talks to expand the boundaries of the South Billings Boulevard Urban Renewal District will be discussed in Monday's City Council's work session. Hundreds of kids use the South Park pool every summer. It's so much used by summer camps and families, not just in that area, but all of Billings. But it's not exactly a five-star resort. If it wants to stay open, it needs a lot of work and help. Director of the East Billings Industrial Revitalization District, Michelle Harkins, knows much about that. I can see what change does and the hope of change and just the idea of it. Harkins has overseen significant change in the eBird. Now some want to see if the south side of town can benefit in a similar way. The goal here is to understand what's possible with Sabura, expanding it, looking at pulling in the South Billings Triangle from South 1st Street all the way over to, to South 27th Street. Expanding the boundaries of what's being called the s -bird would allow for the use of TIF funds in areas where revitalization is much needed. As a city, we don't have a lot of tools. Potentially look at it as a potential to, to help us out with South Park Pool and some of the other infrastructure needs that are also you know, pretty big on the list for the city of Billings as well. A boundary expansion, City Councilman Scott Aspenleiter argues, could mean more opportunities for Billings businesses on South 27th Street as well. The hope is that by expanding this TIF district, we can, we can add more levers, that we can encourage that, that private investment on that side of our city. Lord knows it's desperately needed. A slew of possibilities that Harkins hopes to see in the future. You can see from downtown what Sabura has already done and what we've done here, that TIF motivates people, it helps the community, and it just enhances the city as a whole. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.